Hey everybody, welcome to Kevin Kraut YouTube channel. Hopefully everybody is having a great day today. Hopefully so. You don't see me. See me. We're gonna be discussing what week seven of the college football season. This week, Clemson definitely plays this week, I know that. They play Syracuse. Let's see. We have... Marshall versus North Tex Texas. I'm going to go with Marshall. And then you have Clemson playing this Friday. That's, a, that's tomorrow, actually. But Clemson's gotten so bad, they're playing on the Friday. <laughs> Clemson versus Syracuse. I'm going with Syracuse on this one. California versus Oregon. Going with uh, Oregon. San, Ho San Diego State versus San Diego San Jose State. I'm going with. San Jose State, then you have UCF versus Cincinnati, going with Cincinnati, Cincinnati looking really good, Michigan State versus Indiana, going with Michigan State, Oklahoma State versus Texas, going with Oklahoma State, Auburn versus Arkansas, going with Arkansas. Florida versus LSU, going with Florida, Texas A&M versus Missouri, I'm going with Texas A&M, Nebraska versus Minnesota, I'm going with Nebraska, Rutgers versus Northwestern, I'm going with, I guess Rutgers on this one, Yale versus UConn, Go with Yukon. Tulsa versus South Florida. Go with Tulsa. Ohio versus Buffalo Bulls. Go with Ohio. Duke versus Virginia. Go with Duke. Ball State versus Eastern Michigan. Go with Eastern Michigan. Akron versus Miami, Ohio. I'm going with Akron. Troy versus Texas State. I'm going with Texas State. Kentucky versus Georgia. I'm going with Georgia. Purdue versus Iowa. I'm going with Iowa. BYU versus Baylor. I'm going with Baylor on this one. Western Kentucky versus Old Dominion. I'm going with Old Dominion. UAB versus Southern Miss. I'm going with UAB. Miami versus North Carolina. I'm going with North Carolina. Um, Pittsburgh versus Virginia Tech. I'm going with Pittsburgh. Toledo versus Central Michigan. Go with Central Michigan. Bowling Green versus North Illinois. Northern Illinois. I'm going with Northern Illinois. Kent State versus Western Mi Michigan. Going with Western Michigan. Arizona versus Colorado. Going with Arizona. Fresno State versus Wyoming. I'm going with Wyoming. Vanderbilt versus South Carolina. I'm going with South Carolina. I think South Carolina beats Vanderbilt because Vanderbilt is very bad this year. Texas Tech versus Kansas. I'm going with Texas Tech. Bryce versus UTSA. I'm going with UTSA. Alabama versus Mississippi. State. We'll go with Alabama. 
Liberty versus UL Monroe. I'm going with Liberty. Colorado State versus New Mexico. I'm going with New Mexico. Utah State versus ULV. I'm going with ULV. <coughs> TCU versus Oklahoma. I'm going with Oklahoma. Old Miss versus Tennessee. I'm going with uh, Tennessee. NC State versus Boston College. I'm going with mm, NC State. Iowa State versus Kansas State. I'm going with Kansas State. Stanford versus Washington State. I'm going with Washington State. Army versus Wisconsin. I'm going with Wisconsin. Louisiana Tech versus Utah. I'm going with Utah. Air Force versus Boise State. I'm going with Boise State. Arizona State versus Utah. Mm, I guess Arizona State. Hawaii versus Nevada. I'm going with Nevada on that one. Let's talk about South Carolina versus uh, Tennessee. Now that was a bad game. Yes, I'll admit it. That was the play calling was pretty horrendous. Coastal Carolina does not play this weekend. They play at the state next Saturday. Saturday or I think it's Saturday. But I'm just amazed you can probably learn a thing or two about Coastal Carolina. Say what you will, they yes they're in, in a lower conference, but they are kicking butt this year. Like they did last year. I would not if South Carolina can win six games they are predicted to go against Coastal, which I don't know if that's true or not. Do y'all think that's true or not? Comment down below. And Clemson, I don't know what they're going to do. There's no telling. They might lose the Syracuse. They have not been the same teams in, as they once were. It just Both South Carolina and Clemson have been playing really bad lately. <laughs> so, yeah. I almost feel bad for Clemson, even though I don't pull for Clemson. It's not like them. No, actually, Coastal Carolina plays App State Wednesday, the October the 20th. I, I think Coastal Carolina is going to win that one, hands down. I mean, I'm not saying App State can't. App State is a physical team, but I don't see Coast. I don't see App State beating a good coastal team. And that back to South Carolina losing to Tennessee. Yes, it's. I don't know what happened. The play calling. It's just been horrendous. They don't really have any... I don't know. We They still have players from the World Muschamp era. Which they... I think in 2022 is going to be a better year for South Carolina. In my opinion. If they do these simple things as they'll have better players they'll get rid of the ones that they don't need the ones that are slowing down <laughs> and of course South Carolina didn't get dealt dealt Georgia got dealt the player why did he go to Georgia I don't know And if you like this video, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Um, 
and hopefully Gamecocks can beat Vanderbilt and work on winning some games and maybe hopefully getting a bowl game the first year of, as a uh, Beamer, Coach Beamer. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Coastal's already won six in a row. <laughs> they haven't lost any. They've already they're already bowl eligible. <laughs> Got to win six games to get bowl eligible. Eligible. I don't know if Clemson can win six games this year. That's a big question mark. They've been losing more than they win <laughs> this year. That, I mean, they did lose a lot of their good defense, and they lost the uh, Trevor Lawrence in the NFL. And Trevor Lawrence hasn't been doing too well in the NFL. <laughs> so, I will see y'all later.